Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky and I review a lot of active work, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a few uh, also non-active wear pieces. Um, it's a little bit more of a summer pants haul in a way. And um, yeah, so I do have some Halara pieces. Halara did send me some items to try for you guys to see if, you know, it's perfect for summer because we have some Halara magic jeans. So, um, some exciting uh, new, like, kind of like way more stretchy fabric. It's more breathable, um, more lightweight. So perfect for summer. That's what they say. We'll test it. And then I also do have some items from their Braceful collection. So the Braceful collection is also just very lightweight material, very flowy material. So it's all about that, um, you know, that, that summer feel, the, the breathability and the lightweightness of things. And I'm quite excited to try it. Um, so thanks uh, for Halara to, that they sent me stuff. Thanks to Halara for sending me things. Um, you know, that's what I wanted to say. And um, if you want to check out their website, if you like some of the items that I'm going to show you today, you can use my code that I'm going to put in here. And you also find that in the description box down below, um, along with all the links for the items that you see me try on today. Um, I think I did get a size medium across most things for the bottoms and it's, it's just bottoms and no, not just bottoms. Actually, we have uh, one piece that is not a bottom, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but yeah, I got to get uh, I'm usually a size small up top and in between size small and medium for the bottoms. But I think we have mainly size medium here today. And I want to start with the Hilara Magic uh, jeans because I've been seeing those on like in like ads on Instagram for a while. And I was like, I kind of want to try them. And then when they messaged me, were like, do you want to try this? I was like, yes, please. Because who does not like lightweight denim, you know, or like lightweight denim look? Um, like the combination of basically a leggings feel, but also like that jeans feel. So I was like super excited to try those. I do have two Halara Magic Jeans items for you today. And we'll start with the first one, which is not like, you know, I'm, I'm more of a skinny jeans person because that's the, you know, that, that was kind of my teenage years when I was in. So I haven't really deviated from that too much. But I mean, these days it's all about like, you know, flowy pants, white legs. We do have the boot cut coming back and everything. So we do have something with a little bit more of a boot cut here. This is the Halara Magic High Waisted Crossover Pocket Cool Touch Breathable Wash Stretchy Knit Denim Casual Super Flare Pants. So that's a lot of words. And basically what you need to know about this one is it comes in two different colors. This is the Wash Denim Light Blue. And it does have a cross waist. It is very, very stretchy compared to your normal jeans fabric for sure. And we do have a four way stretch. So it stretches in either direction. Um, it is definitely like a combination of jeans material, denim material and legging material, which is kind of crazy. Um, so you kind of like, it, it kind of feels a little bit like denim on the outside, but it's definitely like also like legging mixed in. Um, so it is like a kind of a true like jeans legging. We do have a front seam on these and you do not have a top seam, but we do have that cute little cross waist. And cause I don't know if you used to wear jeans leggings. I used to wear them like back in the days. They never had front pockets, but this one has front pockets on both sides. Like look at this front pockets. Like that's crazy. Never seen these with front pockets. Um, and then in the back, we do have some detailing here in the waist band and you have, you know, maybe ever so slightly curved glued seams there. And then we also do have pockets here in the back, but yeah, overall it's like, like it's, it's so interesting how like, you know, cause it kind of looks like jeans and then the outside, like just the, the top layer kind of feels a little bit like it, but I would expect a ton more fabric, like a lot more thickness from a real pair of denim, basically. Um, and then also, like I said, these are boot cut. So we do have like a flared leg here at the bottom. And yeah, it's just exciting. I do like the crossway specifically, I think. Um, yeah, but it's crazy. Like if you, these are, these are, I mean, they're definitely heavier than a normal pair of leggings, but they're definitely like, you know, still much, much thinner 
than a pair of jeans. So it's exciting stuff. Let's see it on. All right, here we have the Halara Magic jeans. These are the bell bottom ones, the uh, boot cut ones. I guess there's a difference between bell bottom and boot cut, but still, you know, um, they're fun flowy. If I have time, I will take a picture, you know, so you can see the full, full length look on me and, you know, I'll show it to you, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I like the cross waist. I think it's very flattering. Um, it's not too, too tied up top here. We have no top seam, but it still fits like nicely. I don't feel like this is gonna like fall down on me. I don't feel the front seam situation at all. I like that we have pockets. They're not big, but then again, women's jeans pockets or women's pants pockets in general are never big because, you know, um, gendered everything and men get big pockets and we don't but yeah i mean this is still like enough to put like a key in there or some change or stuff then in the bag you can see that slightly um you know the detailing here in the bag ever so slightly curved glute seams and then you have those back pockets here as well that are functional and i will say like it's really like because like the the top of the material as i mentioned already it definitely feels like jeans but then it's like more lightweight and definitely more and more like more stretchy. I would not wear these for a workout because I feel like I don't know. I mean, a I would not wear these for a workout in general with like the flowy leg part. I feel like that would just get in the way. But also because they, I mean, they're definitely they feel more like outerwear basically. But I mean, you could absolutely. I guess you could do that because I mean they're still breathable and everything. But I personally would not wear them for a workout. So yeah, but kind of cool. I like the cross waist. I wish like. This was possible with like, I guess you can't really do that with a normal pair of jeans. I know there was like these Abercrombie jeans that kind of had like, it was a little bit crisscrossy, but like it's it's harder to do than with, you know, more stretchy legging material, I guess. But I think it looks super flattering. So yeah, these are fun. All right, and as promised, we do have another one of these Halara Magic jeans. Um, this is the, oh, this way, right? This is the Halara Magic High Waist the Backside Pocket Stretchy Knit Denim Casual Leggings. So these are more of a skinny kind of jeans type. So this is more what I would wear usually. I got these in denim black. Um, and they also do have them in like other colorways, so you don't have to get them in this dark colorway if you don't want to. They also do have a more blue jeans type thing. And these also do, again, feel like a little bit jeansy on the top. You can also kind of see like it's not completely black. It's more of a dark gray, very dark gray or like light black wash, basically. But you still have this like kind of jeans look on top and also this kind of feel here. Um, We also do have now... Like not just a front seam, but it kind of looks like you have like your, your flap here to hide your zipper, but there's no zipper there. We do have um like this waistband. It doesn't really have a top seam, but it does have like a thinner elastic up top to kind of keep them up. And then we do have the illusion of front pockets, but these ones actually do not have front pockets. I kind of wish they had like front pockets, like the, uh, the flare uh, leggings or flare jeans that we just saw. That would have been like a nice feature. And then in the back, we do have functional back pockets though. So at least something here. And we also do have some more seam detailing here in the back. And then of course you do have a side seam that really looks like, you know, normal jeans. Um, yeah, I like dark jeans washes usually a little bit more. That's usually what I wear more often. Um, and I'm more like of a gray, darker gray type of person when it comes to jeans. But of course these again, are a little bit more stretchy than your normal jeans would be. Not as stretchy as leggings. So it is definitely like kind of a mixture and you have stretch, you know, forward stretch again. So definitely stretch in all the areas. Um, more so in the, you know, this, this way than the other way. And definitely like way more lightweight. These ones also feel lighter now than the other ones that we just saw because they don't have this whole like bell bottom. So they're definitely a little bit like more compact, if you will. Um, and all in all, like, it's just crazy how, like, this looks really like jeans, but it's, like, also, you know, not. Um, so weird. But, yeah, definitely, like, very lightweight. And let's see these on. All right, here we have the more skinny jeans variant from Hilara. Oh, skinny jeans for... All right, here we have the more skinny jeans style from Hilara. They are definitely a little bit shorter on me. So the bell bottom or the bootleg ones were definitely 
an appropriate length, but now these are like more of an ankle length, a little bit shorter on me maybe. Um, they are nice and high-waisted. I will also say that, so while I felt like the size of medium was fine for the previous one, I feel like here the size medium feels, feels a little big. I have a little bit of extra space, even at the top. But of course, since we have that top elastic band, it still fits nicely here, but I just feel like there's a little bit more extra space. Again, I wish this would have had pockets and because this one does not, you know, but we still have like the back pocket here so you can put some stuff in there. Um, I'm coming a little bit closer so you can see the detailing a little bit better. Get a bit more jeans detailing, definitely nice and high waisted. And also, you know, two back pockets, obviously. Um, what I will also say is that usually uh, with leggings, that also happens. When I get a little bit of gaping here on the side, which I get here now as well, I know that I could have sized down. So yeah, I feel like these could be a tad longer and a tad smaller if you're in between, I would suggest to size down. Material-wise, they feel very similar to the other ones. Definitely like this jeans feel on the outside, but like still nice and stretchy and easy to put on and to take off. And I would also say, again, I would not work out in these, I think. This is more like of a, of a lifestyle pair of jeans leggings, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's move on to a sporty item. So I got a pair of shorts for you. I think I've tried these shorts before. They are flowy shorts. Um, this way around. So these are the drawstring contrast flowy mesh two in one shorts. And I got these in the color Indian teal. So with the, the flowy shorts, I usually have like kind of a love hate relationship um, because they're never as flowy on me because I have thicker thighs and a bigger butt. So I always do size up a few sizes. So this one, this one I got in the size large. Let's see if this is flowy enough for me or not. Um, so yeah, I would recommend for like flowy shorts, do size up if you have like bigger butt thigh situation um, there. But yeah, this is like a super like flowy, um, lightweight pair of shorts. We have two layers here. That's why it's the two in one short. And um, we also do have a drawstring up top so you can tie that, which also allows you to size up a little bit more if you need to. Um, this is made from 90% polyester and 10% spandex. That's the outer layer and the liner is 83% nylon and 17% spandex. Because yes, you can see the outer material. It's a little bit more loud, it's a little bit more windbreaker-esque and we do have a little bit of a mesh like situation here. I think it could have been nice if this was actually open but this is like sewn together. If it was a little bit more open, I think it would allow for a little bit more flexibility with the, with the sizing. And then on the inside, you have like a really nice soft, kind of very cool to the touch uh, pair of shorts, liner shorts with a front seam here. And um, they're just like super simple. We do not have pockets in this short. So just keep that in mind if you're like a friend of pockets, not in this one. And then you do have like slightly curved seams here in the back and then this mesh detailing kind of starts coming in at some point. They are very short, I will also say that. So we will see how that works for me. And um, let's see it on. All right, here we have the two in one shorts. Um, I will say, I think they fit a little small. Yes, I know that sometimes, you know, uh, with the flow shorts, I can be a large and things, but usually then the waistband is definitely gaping, whereas here it's not that gaping at all, you know? So I would say these definitely fit small, so I would suggest to size up one or two sizes. And clearly if I wanted to have them a little bit more flowy, I should have sized up a little bit more. The inner shorts fit nicely though, so no cutting in or anything. So I don't have complaints with that. It's more like the top layer is not flowy at all. And I also wish these were a little bit more high-waisted because now I can't really pull them any higher. So this is kind of where they land on me and I would have preferred them to come up a little bit higher still, but I also do have a long torso. So that could be one of the problems with that. So if you have a shorter torso, if you're a shorter person, um, these might also be fitting you a little bit better and Maybe if you have a big butt, bigger hips, thighs, whatever. Maybe these are not the perfect ones unless you do um, size up two, three times, I would say, at least. Or at least two times. Because, yeah, this is basically one and a half times sized up. And while if, like, the length is fine, I just, you know, I, I want them to be flowy and not, you know, like this. I do like the color, though. I do like how the inner shorts fit. It's, it's more like the problem with the top layer. But, you know, that's okay.
All right, and just like that, we're on a lot of flowy pants. Let's start with these ones. This is the color maple syrup, by the way, super pretty. Kind of a rusty red, a little bit more brown as well. And these are the Midrise Elastic Waistband Drawstring Side Pocket Palazzo Flowy White Leg Casual Pants. Um, got these in a size medium as well. This is 94% polyester and 6% elastane. They feel like super flowy, lightweight, very, very stretchy. Like they're gonna be very comfortable, nice chill pan for sure. Um, these also did come in a ton of colors. And yeah, it's a white leg pan. So it's not like boot cut or anything. It's just like a white leg, which is in these days, right? We do not have like a wide waistband. You just have like your elastic up top there with that drawstring that you can tie. And then you do have like a seam in the front, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue because these are like very oversized, flowy, you know, so the seam is not gonna be anywhere near anything. And then you have like super big pockets on the side here, on both sides. And yeah, this material is just like very cool to the touch. It's stretchy for sure. Like there's definitely stretchiness in it. And it's like, yeah, this cool to the touch material. Um, so definitely, will pop be good for summer and then you can just wear that and like throw over like throw on a top and just some sandals and you're good to go probably um yeah but let's see it on all right these are like insanely comfy <laughs> i also feel like i'm just like you know like with these white legs just like you know it's like mm, you can just chill and relax and it's like it feels really really I don't know, just flowy and I like the pockets and you can see how stretchy this is, right? Um, I'm curious because the fabric is quite lightweight if I put my phone there. It's actually, no, it's not, because I was wondering if it was gonna drag the pants down, but I think it actually is fine. So you could put some heavy things in there. Um, you do have the drawstring up top so you can tighten that a little bit, but honestly, I mean, it also fits fine like this. It's just good to have that option, you know. So I'll just tighten that here and then I can come a little bit closer. Um, I really do like this maple syrup color. We don't have pockets here in the back, but I mean, you have these like really giant pockets on the side. So I think that's fine. I think these were described as mid waist. So you could definitely wear them like more like this if you want to. Then they're definitely also a little bit longer. So if I wear them like this, they do hit the ground. If I wear them like this, they're kind of hovering a little bit more on top. But I mean, honestly, if I just wear them for la for relaxing at home, I don't don't care. Um, I'm more of a high waisted person, but I also do have a longer torso, so that is also one thing. But these are super comfy. Like, like you could really just like chill in them, and they don't feel too warm. They're definitely very breathable, so perfect like lazy summer outfit to run errands or something. But yeah, really nice, flowy, stretchy, everything. All right, now we're really getting into that braceful fabric. So these are the uh, braceful high-waisted shirt lace-up plicated wide leg flowy quick dry casual pants in the color thin ice blue. I know you can only see parts of the pants, but like you'll see all of it in a bit. Um, and this is the braceful fabric. So this one is like super lightweight, very cool to the touch, um, stretchy as well. Let me see the other direction as well. So like not the stretchiest, like not like a normal legging fabric, but it's definitely still like stretchy. It is lightweight and they're like, oh, it's never been, they said it's on their website. It's like, oh, it's never been so easy to feel breezy. So uh, if you're looking for like something super lightweight, then this is it. Also, they say it's sweat wicking material. So yeah, if you're like getting really, really warm, you're still going to be good to go. And so these pants have a lot going on. Um, I also did get these in a size medium. The braceful material is 92% polyester and 8% elastane. Um, and I did get these in a regular length as well. So, like I said, a lot going on. We do have this waistband. There's like no adjustability really, but we do have like kind of this, you know, stretchy elastic part on the sides here. And then you also do have a little tie, but that's more for um, decorative purposes, I would say. Then you do have a seam in the front. And then, like I said, a lot going on. These are very wide leg, but they have different tiers to them. So you have like a seam up top here, 
then it goes a little bit wider. You have a seam down there, and then I feel like it goes wider again. And definitely super lightweight materials. Like it feels like really, really, really thin, but like very, very breathable as well, of course. Um, I don't think we have pockets on this one. No, no pockets on this one. But yeah, it's definitely very, very white leg, very, very flowy. I feel like I've definitely seen skirts that kind of have like these type of seams. Um, also the seam is only like, like halfway around the leg. And then like further into your thigh, you don't have that seam there in case you're a little bit concerned. I'm, I'm always a little bit concerned, especially like seams around my thigh. Just like, hmm, because that's, you know, where my thighs are a little bit wider. So I'm, we'll see how that works, because I'm not sure how stretchy these are. They're not stretchy at all. So uh, we'll, we'll see if, if, that's, if that works or not. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot of fabric, but also very, very lightweight. And it's a pretty color. Let's see it on. All right, these were def definitely, uh, all right, these were definitely not made for people with bigger thighs. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's nice and flowy throughout the leg here from here on downwards, but it's not flowy around here. And this is kind of like a shame because it feels nice and lightweight. I like the color a lot. And then also I get like a the tiniest bit of gaping here in the back because there's no elastic like this on the side, like in the back here. So you kind of only have this to tighten it. And that's really not a lot um, to, you know, it just doesn't work super well. Um, to make this more like fit. So if you have an hourglass figure or something a bit or like a pear figure or whatever um, Maybe this is not the optimal thing for you because you can see like this the seam here does cut in quite a little bit So it's not really working out for me But also sizing up would not work out for me because then it's gonna be way too big around the waist So this one is just not for you if you have bigger thighs bigger, but It just won't work. I mean it looks cute on other people probably but like it's just not a thing for me. Otherwise, fabric feels really nice and lightweight. Again, um, I feel like it could have used a little bit more stretch maybe, but like also maybe just a little bit more space in this part and it would have been fine. Or just not the seam up top here. I don't know. But yeah, super flowy legs. So if you have uh, less of this issue here, you can still go and try those. All right, we've got more breezeful items, but if you're like me and you're more of a like skirts dress person in summer, I got something for you now because we do have, oops, I was sitting on parts of it. The review was not, was not as perfect, but like we do have a little, well, not a little skirt, but we do have a skirt here. And um, this is the breezeful high-waisted high-low ruffle two in one quick dry casual midi skirt. Also in this color thin blue ice because I liked it a lot. This one I actually did get in a size small. Do not ask me why. Maybe because I wanted the color and the size medium was not available. I don't know. But we'll see if that was good or not. Um, but anyway, like again, you have this like super like lightweight top material here. Because two in one, you know, remember. So this is the... The, the top layer, which is this breezeful fabric, super, super lightweight, super flowy. And you can see that, you know, this like kind of like draping across here. So you have like a little bit of an opening in the front to show off your knees and your legs. And then on the inside, we do have built in shorts here. The built in shorts are also super cool to the touch. Very, very stretchy. Um, like doesn't seem like there's going to be any cutting into the thighs or whatever. No front seam in these built-in shorts either. Also no seam in the back, but obviously that doesn't really matter too much. And let me just, ah, there we go. So like super, super uh, flowy, super lightweight, super cool to the touch. Um, the body of the score, skort, yes, it's a skort. <laughs> it's 92% polyester and 8% elastane. And the top layer is 77% nylon, 23% elastane. So definitely like a little bit of a different material, but I would say the top is actually the built-in shorts because the breezeful fabric was the 92% polyester, 8% elastane, I think. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. We also do have a top seam here, which I personally usually don't mind because that usually helps things stay up a little bit better. And yeah, so in the back, the score, like the skirt is like really, really long. Like, I mean, they described it as a midi skirt, so it's not going to be like to the floor, but it'll probably reach your lower calf area. Um, and then in the front, you just have like this cute little peekaboo moment. 
and I'm excited to try this because, you know, this could be like a really nice addition to my closet. You just throw on a little top and then you're good to go. So let's see it on. All right, here we have the little skirt. If you're in between sizes, I would absolutely recommend to size down because the size small fits nicely for me. Um, there's even like a little bit of extra space here in the waistband, but we have the top seam. So it's still like, you know, nice and tight staying up there. Um, it's a little crinkly, but I think if you just hang it up in your closet, it's gonna be fine. And I just like this cute little slit here. And of course, like, I mean, there's so much fabric. I don't think you're gonna expose this part anyway, even if it kind of flows up a little bit. And if you do, you have your built-in shorts here as well. They're not cutting in, they're not like, you know, too tight or anything. No front seam on these, no pockets either, but nice and comfy. And you know, then you just have like your flowy little layer on top. And you can show off your knees a little bit. And in the back, it definitely like, I know you can't see it right now, but it hits the bottom of my calf basically. So it's around ankle length in the back and in the front. I mean, you can kind of see how long it is and then it kind of just, goes lower so in the front I would say it's never longer than shortly under your knee like if I jump up can you see it <laughs> is that a thing <laughs> but and I, I like how flowy it is it's definitely nice and lightweight too and I feel secure you know and I mean this works well the skirt like was just like a pair of sandals and you just I don't know put on a white top or something little crop top this top and you're kind of good to go right and you know with this length of a skirt, even though you have a little bit of a slit here and a little bit more of a shorter moment in the front, I still don't feel like I'm going to expose myself. For me, usually that fear comes from the back being too short, but it's perfect. So can't really complain. The waistband is nice and soft as well. It's slightly different material than this part here. So the waistband is more of the shorts material, like very, very soft, cool to the touch. And then you have that breezeful, like light layer on top. And I think it's just a really cute, oops, <laughs> it's just a really cute skirt. I'm just stepping on everything here, you know. I um, should really watch where I'm going, but yeah, it's cute. All right, now are you ready for the last piece? We do have a dress. So this is the Breezeful Backless Racer Bag. How's the backless and racer bag? Anyway, it's the Braceful Backless Racer Bag. Side pocket, high, low, midi, quick, dry, casual dress. So this one is really just like a casual, like super flowy, wide dress. It's not like the most form-fitting dress. So if you're into like that kind of stuff, this is maybe not for you. Um, we do have a built-in sports bra, which I really, really like. And the outer material again is like this flowy, breezeful fabric. So like flowy, lightweight. Um, just cool to the touch, sweat wicking. So yeah, and um, on the inside, like I said, we do have a built-in sports bra or built-in shelf bra, I guess. We do have removable cup pads in here as well. Your elastic there too. I did get this dress in a size small as well. I feel like because it's like not very like form-fitting, you can kind of dress according to how oversized you want it to be. And hold, hold on, I'm just trying to get the get that back in there. The, the sports bra. <laughs> I'm just like, where are the pockets? Let's see if you can find them. But yeah, you can see it's it's also, again, like like the skirt, a little bit like shorter in the front than it is in the back. Definitely not like the shortest dress either. And here, we do have pockets. Okay, one pocket here. And let's see if we also, yeah, we also got another one on the side. So they're kind of like a little bit hidden away on the sides. So the back really just has that simple racer back then. And yeah, overall, just very simple. I'm wondering, you could probably kind of like wear it with a little belt to kind of like make it shape your waist a little bit more. We can try that maybe. But otherwise, very, very like just flowy. I feel like this is a perfect one to uh, throw on if it's like really hot and you just don't want anything sticking to your body at all. I feel like this would be perfect and you don't even need to be looking for a sports bra anymore. So that's good. You have like your little pockets. So if you need to go run some errands in the heat, you can just like slip your keys in there and like some money or you your money card, you know? Um, so I think that's actually quite cute. And then you just throw on some sandals and you're good to go. Who doesn't like that, right? So uh, yeah, definitely feels very lightweight. And let's see it up. 
All right, and here we have the dress. It's definitely like super lightweight. I like that there's a built-in sports bra in there, or built-in shelf bra, which I'm not gonna show to you right now because otherwise I'm gonna lift up the whole dress. <laughs> so we're not doing that. Um, you can kind of tell on the side. So you have like your elastic here, and this is the built-in sports bra part with removable cup pads. Fits really nice and comfortable, and it's very smooth as well under the dress. Um, we have just like nice thick straps. You have enough coverage up here, like nothing is getting exposed. And then in the back, you just have your racer back here. Support wise, I will say I'm actually like, you know, light to medium support, definitely tugged in. It is not a workout dress though, I would say. And we also do not have like built on shorts or anything, which I actually like. Cause this one is really like, if it's so warm, you just throw this on and you're dressed and you're good to go. And I don't think you want to fidget with shorts anymore at some point, you know. We do have the nice side pockets. I'm not sure if it's going to fit my phone, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. It's poking out a tiny bit, but it's in there. So if you're running errands again, you can, you know, you can absolutely wear that. And uh, lengthwise, this is currently hitting just on top of my knee in the front. If I go on tiptoes, you can see it. And then in the back, it goes lower again. So it's kind of scoops lower in the back to hit well, around mid calf, basically. So definitely, again, no risk of exposing yourself. This could flow up a little bit, obviously, but it's, it's, it's long enough to, you know, not expose you. Um, I like how lightweight it is. Again, it's a little crinkly, but I think if you hang it up in your closet, it's going to be fine. And yeah, just very, very lightweight. And of course I said, you know, I will try to wear this with a belt because I do like to accentuate my waist. And obviously that's not, that's not a thing in this dress right now. Like, I mean, yes, it's still kind of a little bit smaller up top, but then like it really flares out and it's not really doing anything for you in this area, which it doesn't necessarily need to. If it's really warm, I honestly also would wear this without a belt anyway, but just, you know, to see if that actually gives it a little bit more shape. Um, I'm also not sure if I like the brown belt here. Maybe a black one would be better. But let's just tie that. In the middle, you can kind of, you know, get a little bit of fabric in here as well. Definitely looks cute around the waist. Makes the dress a little bit shorter in the front, obviously, as well. And I mean, it's also going to do that in the back. But it's still long enough, and you can absolutely do that. You can still use the pockets. So you also don't lose that functionality and actually also looks kind of cute, right? But of course, just keep in mind if it's really warm, you gotta sweat under the belt as well. That happens to me sometimes. Cause yeah, I like to accentuate my waist. So I wear belts with dresses sometimes. And when it's too hot, I'm just, I'm just melting. I'm just not made for heat. So yeah, but it, it is a look. Otherwise, like I said, just without the belt, nice and breezy, right? Cause this is the braceful fabric and very flowy. Also great like dress for just chilling at home, right? Or just sit on the balcony reading a little bit. Perfect vacation, relaxing dress. All right, it's conclusion time. So there was definitely some things I really, really liked. There were some things I was like, eh, and there's some things that just didn't work out for my body type, like the shorts and that, like the like kind of more flowy, thin ice blue pants. It's just like, you know, that's just how it is. And this is also why I'm doing those try-ons for you so you can, you know, figure out what will work for you. Um, My favorites, definitely um, those uh, maple syrup um, pants. They're like super flowy, super lightweight. And just, I think they're just going to be great for like chilling, you know, so stretchy too. And then I also did like the skirt a lot. Um, cause yeah, you know, it's flowy. Yeah. It has the built in shorts, fits nicely at the waist. Um, I'm just going to show you the shorts, but there exactly. So, you know, it has the built in shorts. They didn't cut in at all. So that was really, really good. So I think, you know, those are my two favorite pieces for sure. Um, and yeah, I mean, thanks again to Halara for sending me the stuff that I could try it on for you. Um, if you're looking for like some jeans alternatives, of course, I also highly recommend that you, you know, try out some of those Halara Magic jeans because they're like, you know, like it's a feeling of jeans, but it's also like a legging. I don't know. It's just really hard to describe. Like stretchy, but like then the outer feeling is definitely jeans and it's a little bit thicker than a legging, but it's as stretchy as one. Crazy stuff. 
yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you, you can use, exactly, you can use my code. Uh, I'm just going to put that in here again as well. It's going to give you 15% uh, off your purchase. And of course, I will receive a small commission if you use it, but do not feel forced to use it, obviously. And um, also just, I want to, you know, say that again. Of course, I'm giving you my very honest opinions about the items. And um, yeah, so do not worry. Uh, I will always be honest and yeah, just open about how I feel about certain pieces. So yeah, um, all the links for the pieces that you saw me try on now are going to be in the description box so you can easily find those in case you want to. And um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it your thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done so yet, you can subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos that are coming out and you don't miss one because who would want to do that, right? Um, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, any questions about these pieces as well, like any, if you need any help with sizing or deciding, you know, on what you want to try out or also suggestions for new brands to try, drop it down in the comments below and I'm going to get back to you as soon as I can. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can DM me there but we aware I'm like way more likely like really way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube it's just easier to see it's just how it is and yeah if you have anything urgent anything you really want me to see you just leave it down in the comments below um otherwise yeah thank you so much uh for watching I hope you enjoyed this and um let's hope the summer continues a little bit longer so we can continue wearing those like flowy uh pieces and I will see you next time bye <laughs>